in any sport, and especially in this sport, such a physical sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Well-targeted left hand by Mike Tyson. A little head hunting with the right. Tyson is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance. Created a hole, and he filled that hole. Halfway through round number two. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. He brings it downstairs with the hook. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. And a big right hand comes crashing home from Tyson. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice defense. Good block by Mike Tyson. Last 10 seconds. He has his target. He lands a straight right. And we come to the end of round number two. Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Teddy, as for how Mike Tyson made his way to upstate New York to be with you and Customato, he got himself into some trouble to make his way up there. He had been arrested somewhere, I'm not sure the number, close you to 30 times by the time he was 11 years old. And during that time, one of the guards was a former fighter. Actually, his name was Bobby Stewart. And when he found out, when Tyson found that out, he asked him to teach him a little boxing. And as he developed, Stewart called up myself and Customato and asked us, to get involved. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. That's what I want to see. Able to cover up that gut. Flush right hand to the body. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that's the end of round three. Keep the pressure on this. Keep on him. No need to get excited. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Tyson's in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him.
Jab followed by the straight by Mike Tyson. Tyson's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Nice jab there by Mike Tyson. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Mike Tyson is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Combo by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Very accurate with the overhand right. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Don't I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. You're in control. No weapon, This is your fight. You got to watch the water in the corner. Come on. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Up top with the right hand. the headshot, but he parries it away. Mike Tyson's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Right to the head with that right. Tyson's lucky that the referee didn't see that. I can't believe he just got away with a headbutt. Spinner comes right back at him with a left hand. Tyson's punch didn't come close. Turn the sender with the left hand. Tyson's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, he looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. 
Good work there with the three punches in sequence by we Mike Tyson. Your head moving. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Tyson's strategy coming in Keep was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Mike Tyson staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now he scores well with the straight right. Little volume punching to the body there. with that hook. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Seconds to go in this round. Good double jab by Mike Tyson. Iron Mike with an iron right. Tyson's always been thought of as a very well-rounded fighter. Tonight we are seeing one specific part of his game that's dominating, and that is precise, accurate, clean, and effective punching. Yeah, and I would argue that you've seen in another part, you've seen his intellect, you've seen how smart he is, because everything is designed to land. He's placing shots beautifully. <laughs> has only favored one man, completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Tyson's making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse a little bit and give those medicines that will put into the cut a chance to work a little bit. But also, he's got to slow his opponent down. Catch him with something so he doesn't keep going after that eye. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Mike Tyson's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head. Teddy, how much of that is this natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being shown? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defense and fundamentals. Targeting that one, two. Let's go, hit him. Come on, baby. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Big uppercut. Keep your hands up. We got it. It's so He's got nothing left. Just go for it. Tyson's been making a point of working harder. He's the busier fighter, throwing more punches. And as we start round number eight, he's up big on Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's getting a little opposition. I mean, 
The other guy must have a big bank account or something. You know what the other guy's corner should do? What? They should tell him that they just got a phone call from his wife. And guess what? All the money's gone. They got to create urgency. <laughs> all the money's gone. You know, something happened. Your accounts are all zero. You better start fighting. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. That's an impactful right hand by Mike Tyson. Tyson's very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think defense. he will, Small he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. right back at him. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Huge uppercut by Tyson. And he digs in with the jab, cutting down the tree there. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Okay, be careful, okay? Don't fight his fight. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. A snapping combination by Mike Tyson. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. After being hit himself, right to the belt line. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Hits him in the mug with the right. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Good way to protect the midsection. here. 
A well-placed left hand up top. Mike Tyson's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. That's a forceful jab by Mike Tyson. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Tyson's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Tyson's showing us a side that we haven't seen before, and obviously the knockdown brought that about. Yes, it did, and he's hoping that right now. That there it is! Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Little head knocking with that right hand. He's committed to the combination punching now. He's working out well up top. A shooting right hand by Mike Tyson. The judges have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back and forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear which way it goes. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. From Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Ali's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How could it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. Hey, if you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, 
guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing that it is set up is all the punches. Teddy, in terms of a power punch, we know the taller fighter is going to try to utilize the jab, but in terms of a power punch, what can he get that shorter fighter with? The uppercut. Boy, oh boy, that can be like putting a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae. Because you know the shorter guy's leaning, he's coming in, he doesn't see that punch until it's too late. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Locks that belt line well. And a well-targeted combination by Muhammad Ali. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Ali's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Fine looking right hand by Muhammad Ali. There's the combo downstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Fighting right there, and smart fighting, landing all four punches. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he has back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Mike Tyson's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart on, fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. A clean, crisp right hand by Mike Tyson. One, two jabs up top. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well placed, straight right hand. Right to the body. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. the judges and himself with that right hand. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ali was able to get to his man in that last round. Now he's got some momentum. You know, everyone thinks he's not a puncher, but he puts them together. And he put those punches together where he got the effect he wanted.
exchange. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Nice two punch combo by Ali's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Targeting that belt line with the double jab. Ali with a right hand. Defense just covering up down low. Keep moving, keep moving. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Unable to land clean by Mike Tyson. Ali smashed up top. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. That's a forceful two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. And round three comes to an end. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown score as you look at Teddy's score. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you gets the round. Tyson's defense is paying off now. Off target with that hook. Look at that combination by Mike Tyson. Tyson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Ali's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier. So what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Muhammad Ali. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Muhammad Ali's corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. Kenny, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? There's a straight right hand. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Ali's making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been
taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Scored well up top. Come on, now that was on. south of the border, and the ref gives him the warning. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Muhammad Ali's banged around by a big uppercut. Good exchange, he fires back. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Really fun looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're gonna see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're gonna see more of the same. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Wow! Ruined in one instance. Just done. Fight over. So you never know what's really going on, but I just was wondering a little bit, could he have gotten up? It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fight. We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Mike Tyson's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Take it. Ten 
tonight. Here's the first. Teddy, you obviously built a foundation of Mike Tyson's boxing pedigree. What did you try to tell him very, very early on about how to face a counter? Well, the first thing I remind him of is this guy is going to try to exist by taking your strengths and making them into weaknesses. Your big punches, your attitude to throw with bad intentions, to get you to throw those punches with bad intentions where he can make you miss, and then he can pitch right back at you. So don't forget the rudiments. Don't forget about the most important thing. Set up those punches. Stay with bad intentions, but set them up with the jab. You know, make sure you're fundamentally set. You're not just going with all those big things, all the physical things, because that's what the counterpuncher hopes for. Good block there by Mike Tyson. Yeah, give him one. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Johnson. Up top with a quick hook. Tyson's combination punching is working well here. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Very good defense by Mike Tyson. He missed with that headshot. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Mike Tyson's legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. Johnson's corner is telling him exactly what they want to see in the next round. Remember, that last round, he was stunned. Listen to me. are on him to start this round. Tyson's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. You no, know, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. A target on his head, and he places a hook right on it. Targeting upstairs. Come on, little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Johnson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Halfway through this round. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Johnson. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Right to the belt line. Oh, a good right hand by Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A headshot block. Johnson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Tyson's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. I need to see the combinations from him.
number three is underway. Blocks away that headshot. Come on, kid, focus. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Right hand downstairs. Johnson's been able to hit that target with that straight punch consistently all night long. Yeah, and he's gotten a little bit of help because his opponent starts leading with those wide shots and he steps right inside him, right into the eye of the storm. Unable to score with the hook. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again Just in some like of those that. toughest fights. Just like that. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Johnson's on the receiving end of a combination that floors him. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. And this round comes to an end. <laughs> round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Johnson's up two rounds to one. And Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. Does that hurt him down the road? Boy, sharp two-punch combinations by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit, let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a what Could this be the start of a big comeback? Big, big shot comes crashing home. Tyson's corner is imploring him to get up after that flash knockdown.
everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 rounds of boxing. Mike Tyson showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Up that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. He comes with a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good combination to the body. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Sound defense. Good block that time by Mike Tyson. Halfway through round number one. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Tyson has a very underrated jab that shows it off here. Well targeted two punch combo by Nichols. Accurate hook. Gets rid of that body shot. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Iron Mike lands the left, good. Nichols is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nichols' last round is a good example of what can happen. He landed more punches. You can see the punch stats here. And it really paid off for him. Yeah, what's that old saying? With great power comes great responsibility. And with great punch stats or high punch stats comes danger sometimes. Well, well I made that one up. I don't know if there's actually I like saying it. for that. But that's where you got to be careful. Yeah, the punch numbers are real high. But the more you throw, the more chance of somebody catching you as you're throwing. He has to be aware of that. Toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. There he goes with the right hand again. Boy, unable to get away from those punches. Commits to the straight right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. to the head. El Terrible is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. to connect with the uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kobe Nichols. And you 
see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A well-placed overhand right. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Big shot. You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson, four by the power punch. One, two, three, four. Hurry, get up! Six, seven, eight, four. Get up! Get up, get up! Well, that's the best noise he could ever hear. The bell didn't end that round. That was, he was getting that was battered there. Amazing. I want to know lucky the bell rang when it did. But it's little consolation to him because guess what? There's still plenty of bells, and they're not the church bells ringing in his head. To the head he goes with a left hand. Mike Tyson's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but... You don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to... Nichols has been hurt by that shot. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. Man, that's the worst thing in the world. I know it's his natural inclination to throw back, but that's the worst thing because now look at the punch he's throwing. He's going to leave himself wide open for something else. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. by El Terrible. Plus right hand to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Relax, relax. El Terrible is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Nichols' right hand scores well. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Good enough, and work in the body. So accurate, jab, uppercut combination. has got to be feeling foolish, nailed by a counter punch. Nice work with the overhand right. Three minutes gone by in this. underway as we look at Teddy's scorecard and you can see what a difference the knockdown can make. Nichols' fans have to be loving this early lead. Yeah, but with that power, you know, he can make a mistake and he can win the fight. His opponent can't afford any mistakes and not any more mistakes. Good right hand. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good by Mike Tyson. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. And bang, and away he goes. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Nichols is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by El Terrible. Solid left hand to the head. A little head hunting with the right. El Terrible's been stunned. He got rocked. He 
just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. Oh, and, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Nichols is up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by El Terrible. Mike Tyson's got to feel great right now. He just scored a knockdown. Now he's got all this confidence that can carry him through. Yeah, he has to watch. He doesn't get careless, though. He has plenty of confidence. If he walks in a little reckless now, that confidence could go right down the drain. Nichols' confidence almost completely shot at this point as we start this round. He just went down again the last round, and it seems like he cannot get out of that spot. Time and time again, he's finding himself on the floor. What an excellent two-punch combo by El Terrible. He returns the... the referee gives him a warning for headbutting. Fine-looking right hand by Kobe Nichols. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Not able to land the headshot. Solid straight right hand. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Good return fire that time. What impact from that uppercut by Kobe Nichols. El Terrible's not looking good at all. Was knocked down earlier. Clearly the damage is getting to him. I don't know how much more of this he can take then. Well, they don't allow spell swords. That's not legal. If they allow spell swords, I'd say somebody in the corner better crack one of those ammonia capsules under his nose. I don't know what else to do. Oh, oh good. Oh, and there you go. He got to Iron Mike. Now Iron Mike needs to get to himself. Find a way to dig deep and climb up off the canvas. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Lance Flush with the two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Nichols has got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Good block. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh, and Nichols is down after that punch. This fight could soon be over. I think he can 
can go on much longer here. No, he's going to need to grab a little bit, take a little time off that clock. He has his target. He lands. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, that's a big shot. Nichols is hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. You gotta love a power puncher when he's on his game. Yeah, and you have to love a finisher. He knew how to end it. He knew which punches to choose at the right time. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Roy Jones Jr.'s edge is speed. He can get in and out. He can get you offensively. He can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you got to take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. Well off the mark by Roy Jones. And now he scores well with a straight right. Body shot, left hand. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Halfway through this round here. 
Oh, and they decide to trade there. Goes up top with a right hand. Tyson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Roy Jones Jr. is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Yeah. Yeah. Tyson's yeah. doing what yeah. every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches, the combination lands. Jones is scoring with that right hand. Mike Tyson's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Here we go. Round two is underway. Up top with the right hand. Tyson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Mike Tyson. Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their minds. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Jones is sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Very accurate two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Good step back, counterpunch there. Beautiful. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Tyson's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent. But sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring. Things that you had to understand as far as defensive liabilities. He has to remember that. Hi, everybody. I'm Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action.
But each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. They're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 round. Teddy, I'm going to call this one a little baking soda and vinegar matchup. You know what happens when you put those two things together? Yeah, you get a volcano, and it's going to explode. And I think before the night's over, you're going to see that. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Tyson's cracked by a shot upstairs. Downstairs with a right hand. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Keep your hands up. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Good job with the old one-two by Mike Tyson. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Tyson's trying big shot there. Menacing midsection shot there. Down he goes. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet, able to get away from that headshot with the block. Keep working, bud. Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. He comes right back at him with a left hand. Mike Tyson lands the hook flush. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Mike Tyson. Comes right back with some offense of his own. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Tyson's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Super two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Right to the head with that right. Good plus shot by Mike Tyson. Tyson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Turn the sender with the left hand. Wow. He was just bulldozed right there. One punch knockout. Tower ends this fight. Right after I saved my ass. Right after I saw you cocky, I did not get up. Yeah.
boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. And was Ladies Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one's underway. Mike Tyson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Doubles up the jab. Good flush shot upstairs. Devastating blow by Nichols. And oh, what a good... And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. He just missed that shot up top. Keep that is distance. a big right hand after eating one himself. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. If you're the well-rounded fighter in a matchup like this against a real heavy hitter, I'm assuming the last thing you want to do, even though throughout your career you have punched well, you do have knockouts on your record, is to engage him in the only kind of fight he can win? Yeah, don't go down to his level is what the old-timers would say. You know that you can... That uppercut. Did you see that? Round number one, and he's already down. And if he survives here, Joe, you wonder how that's going to affect him for the rest of the night. Because we expect him to be aggressive. Will he be tentative from now on? Tyson's rising back up. That takes some guts. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. That's a nice right hand that time by Kobe Nichols. Took a shot, now he gets a left. What a great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kobe Nichols. They both decide to bring it. Unable to make an impact there by Nichols. Nichols is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Nichols. Tyson's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really 
is shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. Well targeted, one, two by Kobe Nichols. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Flush to the midsection with the hook. Right to the body. And yet another right hand land. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Well targeted right hand by Kobe Nichols. Banking away those body shots. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Scoring with the right hand by Nichols. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Nichols' combination punching is working well here. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Nichols. More than Tyson's not going to get away with this here. That headbutt the referee is saying that was an intentional foul, and that's a point deduction. Nichols is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there, because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Kobe Nichols. Final 10 seconds. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, what a whiff by Nichols. Nichols' commitment to throwing punches in that last round really scored well for him. This guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Listen. Number three is underway. The combo lands upstairs. Nichols' cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Look at that combination by Kobe Nichols. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then win the count. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Kobe Nichols. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. What a big shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Precision work with the left hand by Mike Tyson. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Tyson's defense has failed him now. Oh, man. Shot after shot coming in. A well-timed right hand by Kobe. Big, big shot he just scored with.
It's all over. Nichols has got down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done, over, Fiend, knockout victory. This matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Smokin' Joe Frazier. Opening round scheduled for ten. Frazier's landed a good, solid combination. Big uppercut right on the mark. Oh, what a harsh jab that time by Joe Frazier. Joe's not that shy about bringing it early on, but what can we expect here? Bringing it early on. <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to expect, and that's what you're going to get. Tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. No, he missed that one. Right. Blocks the headshot. How important is it for a big heavy hitter, a power puncher, to have space to not be smothered? Well, he can't use his power if he's in a phone booth, so to speak. He has to have a... Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Well, there's a spot. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Mike Tyson is on his pants. Iron Mike's got to get back up. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say, when you come in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. What? Scores up top with a left. Joe Frazier's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And now they're trading blows. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Wow, saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. All right, three, 
No, it's a deep breath. Deep breath. Some water. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen. Do a wide punch. Punch. Tighten the punch, right? opponent is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. Uppercut. That hook Uppercut. was well off the mark. Tyson's right hand scores well that time. Great hook to the head that time. Accurate hook by Joe Frazier. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Right to the belt line. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Headshot lands, was a hook. Frazier's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's put them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. And clicks of the top. Good, solid right hand by Mike Tyson. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Cus D'Amato, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I'll tell you that much. Because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say, I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. A stabbing right hand comes in by Mike Tyson. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Resourceful one-two combo by Joe Frazier. Nothing there on the punch by Mike Tyson. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Listen, you need to move your head side to side, okay? Round number four underway. Smokin's only won one round, but it was a significant round setting. Yeah, he scored a knockdown. Obviously, he knows that he got that extra point there. And more importantly, he knows for the future he can hurt the guy. You got this 
Solid right by Joe Frazier. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. There's the old one-two coming after him. Keep your head moving. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Frazier's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Mike Tyson. Halfway through round number four. Tyson's got to deal with a cut cheek. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Getting the best of it. Double up on your punch. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Tyson's doing really well on the outside. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. We come to the end of the round. You gotta take now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Frazier's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Joe Tessitore Orleans. alongside State Teddy Palace Alice, and welcome to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for our main event. <laughs> Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Tyson's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's gonna have to. Mike Tyson's showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. The 
you see he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Holyfield with a huge up. left. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, of Vander Holyfield's blocking ability is doing well for him there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Nice. Tyson's putting nice. his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Mark jab by Mike Tyson. Go, hit him. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Oh, what an exchange! Last 10 seconds of this first round. Holyfield blocks that punch. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Ted. Oh, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Evander uh, Holyfield's making a mockery of this right now. I mean, the guy's not even moving. He's just standing there. Hey, look, you see people quit. You see people give up in different aspects of life. He may be doing that right now. That's a good left hand by Evander Holyfield. Halfway through round number two. What was the thing when you developed Mike Tyson, Teddy, that he grasped instantly? Well, what he understood right away was that his power not only could get rid of guys, but could intimidate guys. And the thought of his power could intimidate guys, where he could use that, where he could make guys a little fraction before he ever touched them. Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. We oh. count down the final moments of this round. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. I need to punch. Wait for him to move. Number three is underway. <sighs> Nowhere close that punch by Evander Holyfield. a stinging right hand by Mike Tyson. Come on, there he is zoning in, the old one-two. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. That's a solid right hand by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's putting forth a great combination there. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. A stinging.
swinging uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Come on, get Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Little volume punching to the body there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Scored well up top. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Hits him in the mug with the right. And that does it for this round. Mike Tyson's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Come on, kid. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. Solid right by Evander Holyfield. He missed with that headshot. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Little head hunting with the left. On the mark to the body with a left hook that followed up a right hand. Little head knocking with that right hand. There's the combo downstairs. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Tyson's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starting to take away some of that head movement. Back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. A crushing two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. And it's a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Well timed by Mike Tyson. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Halfway into round number five here. Sharp two-punch combination by Evander Holyfield. Throws a counter punch there. 
Tyson's putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter, and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. Not able to land the headshot. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. See how he targets that hook? And that's the end of round five. Tyson's looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all. Or do what you just said. Think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. by Mike Tyson. Well, Get something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. How about that left hand? Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Evander Holyfield. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, letting their hands follow. And a smart counterpunch by Mike Tyson. Tyson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Evander Holyfield's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. What an excellent two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Well, this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Iron Mike lands the left, good. Not an accurate hook at all. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. He comes back with a right hand. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. Halfway through the seventh round. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Left to the body. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A little one-two, jab, followed by the cross. Come on, give him That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. Missed the body shot. Able to dismiss that body shot. Tyson's 
doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Listen, I need to see some pounds, okay? Whatever it is, pounds. This is anybody's fight. Here we are, the start of round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those ammonia caps. It's one of those smell sauce, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring him down the home stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. There it is! Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Fires right back at him. Nice block by Evander Holyfield. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice strike after catching one by Evander Holyfield. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good block there by Mike Tyson. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's, wow! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. So I believe guys where the worst thing that happened to him in the fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Mike Tyson stunned by a big shot. Holyfield's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Field with a huge left. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Flush right hand to the head. Tyson's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Ted? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. What a nice combo by Evander Holyfield. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Tyson 
Anderson with a big uppercut. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Back and forth exchange. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. You're doing great. And a good counter by Evander Holyfield. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Yeah, give him one. Come on, get both. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Tyson's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Holyfield showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. A well-placed left hand up top. He scored well after being hit himself. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Evander Holyfield. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Snaps that jab out. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Stand up! Stand up! Two! Three! Four! Come on! Get to your feet! Six! Seven! Eight! Focus! That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. Holyfield's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds among... Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Who do you think has to make the bigger adjustment in a matchup like this in boxer brawl? Usually in a matchup like this, Joe, it's the brawler. It's the guy who's aggressive that has to make the adjustments because, let's face it, if things start off with the boxer using the outside and using his speed, trying to stay away, the brawler's going to be chasing after him. And at some point, if he doesn't get to him, he's going to have to figure out another strategy. Good right hand. 
good work with the combinations there. Bernard Hopkins is now really on target. Bernard Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Keep your distance. Body shot lands with the right. Tyson's combination punching is working well here. A good block by Mike Tyson. He turned ball. that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Parries that punch intended for the head. Good body shot. The right hand came home. There's the combo to the body. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final one? the thing the corner is going to have to take care of that get some ice on him and also they're going to have to think do they want him to go back out very accurate two punch combo by mike tyson bernard hopkins is giving his opponent headaches here now he's throwing punches but he's able to block them away Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. that worked out really well throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that Scores with the combo to the head. Hopkins is well off the mark that time. Keep moving around the ring. And a big right hand comes crashing home. Look at that! What a turn of events! What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. B-Hop went down, but he's proving he's not out. Hopkins looking to fight on. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Halfway through this round. Well placed, straight right hand. Tyson's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. And that had some fight to it, that right hand by Mike Tyson. So he decides to go downstairs early on. And I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. Corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Mike Tyson's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. But they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Hopkins just gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has, and he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. To the head he goes with a left hand. Digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Get in there, let's go. Yeah, A 
little head hunting with the right. He just missed that shot up top. Good smooth work by Mike Tyson. That's classic. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Able to cover up that one, gut. Two, one, two. Side to side. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Doubling up of the jab by Mike Tyson. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. A little something of his own. Blocks is just in a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. You bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Right? Come on, relax. Relax. Shake it out. Shake it out. You gotta relax. You gotta move out there, right? Move, move. Good, fun, entertaining fight if you're a fan, if you're a broadcaster. If you're in these two corners, you're probably sweating now as they've traded knockdowns. Now, you do have him up two rounds to one, though, as we start round number four, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, I think that he served himself a little bit. He learned. That's a huge left. He just scored a big shot. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Bernard Hopkins is now getting back up off the canvas. Mike Tyson's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Four punches. Zoning in on that. And bang, and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Business component to this game here, this box.
Ladies and Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Muhammad Ali's self confidence seems to just come to the We'll get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Good combination to the body. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Keep it going. Teddy, an obvious, obvious height discrepancy here. Got a real tall guy against a short guy. Right off the bat, advantage tall guy, but not necessarily, right? Not necessarily. Look, on the outside, if he's able to control those quarters, yeah, he has an advantage, but once the shorter man closes the gap a little bit and he gets in close, guess what? There's a lot of target in front of him. Super two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Mike Tyson. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is half or hers. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that so far, so good. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. End of the round here, as we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We gotta give credit to the crew there, Robbie and Rick back in the production truck, doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there, of course, Mike. Ryan, all those guys, we appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Muhammad Ali lands the huge uppercut. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. And he returns on that exchange. Tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Hook off the jab! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Tyson's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's good, clean, and effective punching damage his opponent in that last round. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to punch, that's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. And round number.
number three is underway. Wow, is he defensively sound. Keep working the butt. Little volume punching to the body there. Tyson's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the inbox on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Oh, good exchange there. Ali scores with a booming uppercut. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. And another right hand comes in. by a mile. That wasn't even close by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. There's the combo downstairs. There's a straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And the round comes to an end. As soon as you feel rope, move out. Let's create more counters, okay? Tyson's off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Circle him, move, move! That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Solid right by Mike Tyson. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. On, baby. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Finish with the hook. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. There's the combo to the body. This round comes to an end, Teddy. You just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Ali's now feeling the effect. 
affects Teddy of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in the rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. He has found his groove with this right hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. One. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's hurt by a big shot. Wake up! You can see him timing that double jab to the solid. I'll tell you, what a great job by Muhammad Ali's opponent that time. Listen, Ali's the better fighter. Ali's got more experience, but just going out there and making it happen, throwing enough stuff. Sometimes it works. I don't know what Muhammad Ali has left, but I do know this. He's getting up, and he's going to find out. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Mike Tyson's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the school. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him, and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. Good defensive skill. Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, So He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Oh, and he's going to the body well. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mike Tyson gets up, but Teddy, you can tell. I mean, just look at him right there. You can tell he's not in good shape at all. No, and I think the key right now is what decision he makes. He made the decision to get up, but does he make the decision to do the things it's going to take, not only to survive, but to actually win? Good combination by Mike Tyson. Good exchange. He fires back. A shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Didn't get it done going to the
the body there. Ali's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Muhammad Ali. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Scorecard through seven rounds. One of the most basic principles of scoring a fight is who did the clean and effective punching. Tyson's done that tonight. He's been very effective throughout. Uh, yes, he has, Joe. He's followed that to a T. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Mike Tyson. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. On the mark with the combination by Mike Tyson. Tyson's proving to be elusive. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And there he's solid. All that talk from the local lip. Now he's got to prove he's got some guts. Muhammad Ali is down again. One, two, three, four, up, five. I think Ali's opponent has to see what we see so clearly ringside. He's got cobwebs up there. This is a guy that mentally right now could be ready to go. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponents cooperate with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustment. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feint him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. End of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching for those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Double up the chance. Tyson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good job. right hand after he got hit. Ali's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind,
that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Ted? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight are still going to work, but make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's got to be moving more than this one. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Ali's face does not look good at all. You can see his corner try to tend to him. Yeah, they tended to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head, don't get caught so you won't look that way? Maybe they didn't do their job. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Stairs, but off target. Oh, big trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Tyson's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three punch combo? Here. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ali's battered and beaten. I don't know that this fight's gonna continue. Boy, was that impressive. It's late in the fight, and it looked like we were going to get a decision out of this. Mike Tyson's power makes it a knockout. Reminiscent of some of the great late knockout fights in the history of this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Mike Tyson and Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Talk all the hype now. The fight round one scheduled for 10. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Tyson's opponent now is gaining a little momentum. Two solid hooks landing downstairs. Mike Tyson digs 
deep with a big uppercut. Tyson's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Good step back counter punch there. Mike Tyson's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. We've talked about this time and time again. When you get these two mentalities squaring off against each other, it should be a brawl. Yeah, the old timers would say about these guys, they get insulted if you miss them. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. Mike Tyson smashed by an uppercut. The way these two are going at it early on, they're gonna break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Good looking uppercut that time. Solid left hand to the head. Mike Tyson's landed a good solid combination. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. By that shot. Big shot there. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Two. Tyson's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Just what he needed the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer, you say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it, there's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Tyson's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. A crushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Very accurate with the overhand right. Careful here, Teddy, that eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And that's what the referee's gonna be looking for. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Mike Tyson. One, two jabs. Tyson's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Right hand downstairs. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Mike Tyson. Solid shot, the left hand came in. Tyson's damaged right now, Teddy. That last round was really costly to him. He can't go on fighting that. No, not unless he goes back to one of those Star Trek episodes where you had Scotty. You remember Scotty used to beam you up? Well, right about now he's saying, Scotty, beam me the heck out of here. Otherwise, he better get his hands up and start fighting. Mike Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. As if the right hand wasn't enough, how about that accurate left hook he just landed to the midsection? Tyson's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Hit, but he gives it right back. Woo! 
And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Unable to score with the hook. Solid shot again downstairs. Scores up top with the left. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Good two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Good return fire that time. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Did you see that? You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. Two, three, four. Let's go get him. Wow, what a fight we've had so far. Just a chance to catch our breath as we start round number four. They've traded knockdowns. Now, you have them up two rounds to one, Teddy. What's your thinking? There? My thinking is that the corners, they have indigestion. You know, they're looking for a little Maalox or something to settle their stomachs. But the audience, they're having a good time because they know it can happen again. Tyson is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid, there's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Nice work with the jab on the outside. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Scores big with the hook to the head. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Wow, nice flush left hand. What a big shot. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Big, big shot he just scored with. How much more can Tyson take? Not the first time this has happened tonight. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Very precise double jab by Mike Tyson. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. And yet a Big shot comes in. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Because if he's too careful, as you alluded to, guess what? His opponent walks in, and the fight's going to get stopped. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but... There it is! That was a 
was a big shot that poured him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I could be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Tyson's been doing a thing. He's just standing there. What in the world is he doing? Well, what he's doing is he's telling you, I'm not confident. I'm not sure of myself. I don't know what to do. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Tyson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through round number one. and you start to wonder whether or not he wants to be here. It has to change quickly now because if it doesn't, his opponent is going to kind of smell it a little bit and he's going to start pushing a little bit more and put him in bad problems. Showing you some defense there with the block. Tyson's able to avoid that punch. 
Tyson's left now getting into the mix. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Able to show you his blocking ability. You got this one. Targeting a left hand down low. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Protecting his head well with his guard. Halfway through this round here. Well targeted two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Comes with the right. Targeting upstairs. Vamos, the primero. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. A headshot blocked. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Last 10 seconds. Good job staying away from the danger there. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chopping at the bit. He's coming. Unable to connect. Uppercut, uppercut. Blocks it away. Let's talk about the physical stature of Mike Tyson because he has enormously thick thighs and through the core area he, he has a lot to him where he can get a lot of strength generated from. He does, it comes from the floor and believe me, he hits you with the floor. He brings that right up to the upstairs. Punches are born, they're not made. Tyson was born to be a puncher. take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Goes up top with the right hand. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. <laughs> Double jab to the head. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, a nice 
two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Again to the melon. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Mike Tyson's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find a target, get the combination working, land both punches. Boy, some of the old school guys really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you and you can't hit him in the backside with a head full of bulk shot. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. To improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Good combination to the body. Up top with the right hand. Coming into this fight, that in training camp they were doing five minute rounds. We heard that, so not three minute, five minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. Great movement to get away from those punches. He's got that certain something that's a well acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. And now the ref gets involved and warns him for headbutting. Halfway through round six. Just misses with that headshot. Mike Tyson stumbled back. He just got hurt. Well, he just went from punch. Wow! 